Tonight, with inflation hitting Americans at home and with the war raging in Ukraine, President Joe Biden laid out his plans to confront both in his State of the Union address before a joint session of Congress and guests, including Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. Natalie Brand has the latest from Capitol Hill tonight. Madam Speaker, the President of the United States. President Biden entered the House chamber for his first State of the Union address with the focus on the war in Europe. Lawmakers wore blue and yellow ribbons to show their support for Ukraine. Stand and send an unmistakable signal to the world of Ukraine. The president announced he's closing U.S. airspace to Russian aircraft following the move of European allies. Further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. The president also stressed the importance of the NATO alliance in standing up to Russia's unprovoked aggression and Vladimir Putin. He thought he could divide us at home in this chamber and this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. We are ready. On the home front, the president took credit for job growth, touted his bipartisan physical infrastructure bill, and laid out his plan to tackle inflation. Instead of relying on foreign supply chains, let's make it in America. The president also announced what he's calling a unity agenda, action items for Congress that have bipartisan support, including improving mental health care. Let's take on mental health, especially among our children whose lives and education have been turned upside down. President Biden made his case to the nation with an approval rating that's dropped to 44%. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Capitol Hill.